In this video, we're gonna be using First Line Shave Kitawa and the Vector TI for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using First Line Shave Kitawa, and this one was sent to me as a sample when I made an order with First Line Shave. I think when I bought James, he sent this along, and I do like the scent. I was curious about the scent, but some of it was like, ah, I don't know. And to me, first of all, it's a strongly scented soap. Uh, it comes across as it has some brightness. So I'll put the notes for you on the screen there. So you definitely get some orange and the raspberry, but it also has a spicy, almost herbal sort of element to it as well. So you get some sweetness, a little bit of spiciness, and overall, I think it makes for a very, very good scent. So I definitely like the scent. Uh, it's kind of pricey. It's $23 for four ounces. And on a cost chart there, that's $5.75 an ounce, which is pricey. But you do know First Line Shaves are good quality soap. Uh, they give to charity and so on. So if you want to consider that, you can. This is in their um, First Line Shave 3.0 base, which is tallow. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And I find this particular soap to be really easy to lather. It's soft, but not goopy soft. I had no problems lathering it at all. So we look forward to using it today. We're also going to be using today because I've had so many requests to use the Vector for a dome shave. So we're going to take the Vector TI titanium for a dome shave today and see how it goes. A lot of times I'm not the biggest fan of using Artist Club style razors on the head because there are lots of curves and contours on the head. And I'm going to turn the blade away from my head just to illustrate something. There's so many curves and contours. I find that a lot of times the full blade isn't making contact with the head. And so I like um, the leaf and different razors because the blades are oriented a little bit differently. And I just, for me, they're easier to use. But we're going to give this a go today and see how it goes on the dome because I've never used the, the vector on the dome. So let's get started. We're just going to mist the dome here. And this is just plain water, no super elixir or anything. And then we'll get to lathering. The brush for today is the PAA Atomic Rocket. And we have a nice hydrated lather here with our first line shape, Kitawa. Again, strong scent on this one. I'm not sure the scent would be for everyone. If you don't like a little bit of spiciness in your scent, you may not dig this one, but I like it. I like that raspberry. I like the sweetness. And then, you know, it rounds it out nicely with this sort of spicy element. So I look forward to using it today. And the question will be, will the sample generate a sale? Samples do generate sales often. And I think this one very, very well may, so I may end up buying the Kitawa, but we'll see how it goes during the shave and see how I feel about the scent. But my initial thoughts are, I like the scent. I think it's a nice scent, again, strong. So if you like strong scents, a lot of first line shave scents, I think are pretty robust in terms of scent strength. And it is a good quality soap, sort of reminds me of Kaizen in quality. So you know that's gonna be good because you know Kaizen's very, very good stuff. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. It's nice to be doing a dome shave here today. Didn't do a lot of uh, on-cam dome shaves while I was gone uh, because, you know, it gets warm in that bathroom. And so I did all my head shaves off cam every, actually I shaved the dome every day while I was gone visiting and I'll be leaving again, <laughs> visiting soon at some point. And by the way, if you're interested in the Vector TI, it's available for a, for pre-sale right now or pre-order. Uh, this one was sent to me and um, to try out. And boy, I have been put it, putting it through its paces and we're putting it through its paces today with a dome shave, which is something I don't do a lot with Artist Club style razors. Again, for me, the razor being wide, you know, unless you're Fra Frankenstein and have a flat head, which most of us don't, you know, right here, I think it's really good, you know, because you, I can get um, the blade in contact with the, the head pretty well in there. But when you get around the top there where you got a lot of round, you know, areas, I, I don't think, you know, you're using a lot of the blade. Not that that's a problem. You don't really have to use the whole blade all the time. But my perspective on Artist Club style razors has always been on the cheeks where you have a lot of flat area. They're just fantastic. On the dome, I'm not as crazy about them, but we're gonna give it a go today and see how we feel about it. We might just learn something today and say, hey, that was a great, <laughs> you know, head shaver. I know Rudd's really loves using the Vector. 
for head shaves. I believe it's, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's one of his favorite dome shaving razors. In that area there, it's really nice because, you know, that, that blade is just about fully in contact with the dome. So I really like it. But as I go up and the curve, you see right there, we're already, you know, the edges of the, the razor are off the head a little bit. It doesn't mean it's not shaving well, but you don't get this. So, so right there, only a little bit of that big wide blade is touching. And not that that's an issue, but you know, it's just, you're not getting that benefit of the full wide blade. But I will say it feels really nice and smooth. And so I'm definitely liking that portion of it. And then when I get to the back of the head where it's a little bit more, you know, there are some flatter areas that actually feels pretty good. So. You know, we might end up thinking we really like this for dome shaving. You know, you never know. Of course, I could do some strokes like this down this way a little bit. And so far, though, I have to say it's not bad. It's, it's, uh, you know, I love the vector. Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I just really like the vector a lot. It's my favorite artist club style razor of all time. And honestly, the pairing. Two single edge razors that are my absolute favorite, Saber and Vector. Both happen to be made by Blackland. Terrific shavers. And actually that feels pretty good, to be honest with you. Not bad at all, I would say. The blade in here is the Schick uh, Proline P30 or something like that, I think it's called. The soap is smelling nice. Again, this is a, this is a, I would call this a bold scent. Don't worry about it being too sweet. It's not, it's got some sweetness, but it's definitely balanced with that, what I consider to be a somewhat spicy element. Um, it's a nice scent, I think. And I think once again, first line, I'm gonna tell you what, first line has hooked me with many samples. Like when I bought products, they have thrown some samples in here and there. Cause you know, you never know when you read the notes, a lot of times what, and this one, this one was like, eh, I don't know about the leather and all that. Um, but I tell you what, first line by throwing in those samples, I have bought at least three or four soaps from first line where they've threw in a sample extra with my order. And then I was like, oh man, I like that. Like Dapper Man was one, um, Delmar Boulevard was one, and there have been others probably at least three or four times the samples have hooked me. <laughs> so samples are really, really a great way to generate sales. And I know not all artisans include them. Many do. And I think it's really, really nice because for me, these are soaps I may not have purchased, you know, because I try to always buy soaps that I like. I'm not trying to just try soaps for the sake of having them on the channel. I'm hoping to really like them because I'm going to keep them. And I think um, first line here has cost me money yet again, <laughs> you know, <laughs> with the sample because I'm probably going to buy the Kitawa set. Um, so, because this seems like another scent that I'm enjoying. And it's sort of, um, it's different from what I'm used to. It's a little, you know, it's a little out of my wheel. I prefer bright scents, but this one has some nice rounding to it. I really like it. And I must say, I'm enjoying this vector on the dome, but, you know, I have to ask myself, am I just in love with the vector so much that, you know, <laughs> I can't help myself? But to like using it everywhere? I don't know. But it feels nice. And again, I've never been a fan of Artist Club style blades on the head, but this shave is feeling really good. So that is a great thing. It's a great thing indeed. Let's pull down the ear to keep it out of the way. Cause you know me, I have been known to roll over that ear. They sit very close to my head and the hair goes so close down there. It's really a pain to be honest with you. But uh, man, I'll tell you what, that first pass, that was very efficient and very nice. Um, Blackland list the uh, aggression on this. I think at about five or 5.5, .5, something like that. I think it's like six or 6.5 myself. Wow. That was pretty doggone good. I think I'm going to do another, I think we'll do another pass just for the heck of it. But let's speed this one up a little bit because uh, 
I don't have all day here, <laughs> but uh, that was nice. And the soap was nice, the brush was nice, the, the bowl's nice, everything's nice today. So it's a really enjoyable shave overall. And even though I'm not a typically a fan of using Artist Club razors on the head, I have to say that was pretty doggone nice. So the vector still uh, impressing, you know, and this one happens to be titanium. And I'm gonna tell you right now, whether you have titanium or stainless, I think if you're, you know, if you have the vector, you've got a nice Artist Club style razor there. So I don't think, in my opinion, the titanium version doesn't render your stainless steel obsolete. If you want a razor that's a little less heavy, then the titanium might be for you. If you prefer heft, and you really have a preference for a little more heft in your razors, then go with the stainless steel for sure. Don't even think about the titanium. But if you want your razors light, or you prefer something closer to aluminum, then the titanium might be for you. The ti titanium's quite a bit more expensive than the stainless, so that's something to consider. It is more expensive to produce. It wears out the machining tools faster. It's a more expensive metal generally. Um, but it fits kind of nicely in weight between stainless steel and aluminum, being probably a little closer to the aluminum, you know, somewhere close to the aluminum, but really nice, efficient shaver. The vector, again, I, and I, st I stand behind this comment. I think the vector is the best Artist Club style razor ever made. And if not the best single edge razor period, certainly among the very best, but I like the Sabre too, which is a gym style razor that Blackland produces. I like it a lot also. So either way, you're getting great razors. I'm gonna go over here and get work around the ear here on this pass as well. Tremendous, tremendous razor here. And I do see why Rudds likes this on the dump. Um, it does feel good. It, it does. And, and again, I'm someone who typically does not prefer um, Artist Club style razors on the dome, but feels pretty nice. I got to say, so no, no complaints. It's working pretty well. It's definitely an efficient razor, which I like. Let's do some work here in the back. A lot of the shaving when you're doing a head shave, you don't see, you're just going off feel. And you can feel the razor cutting and you just sort of continue to go until it's not cutting anymore. <laughs> um, it makes shaving the head a little bit more difficult. However, I wouldn't say that shaving the head is orders of magnitude more difficult than the face, but it is more difficult, generally speaking. Lots of more curves to deal with. And again, like when you're coming around here, you know, there's lots of areas, especially for a razor this wide, where only the middle part of the blade's really in contact with the skin. That's always been my uh, thing about Artist Club style razors on the dome. A lot of times you're not really taking advantage of that wide blade, which I think is really nice on the face. But it's a good head shaver too. I think, you know, the way it's feeling here, it feels very nice. And in these areas where it's mostly in touch, you know, with my... I'm using the whole blade, it's really a pleasure to use. So it's definitely been enjoyable. It's a nice uh, change of pace for sure to use a razor like this. And it's definitely an effective, efficient shaver. I don't think it's menacing, but you know, you can feel a little blade there and it definitely does a great job. And so I'm definitely a fan. But again, I don't think, you know, if you already have the stainless steel, um, I, don't, I don't think, you know, you don't have to get rid of your <laughs> stainless steel razor because it is great, you know. And I'm gonna use these two razors side by side, or maybe even by the time you've, you're seeing this video, I might have already used the stainless and titanium side by side because these head videos I shoot in advance and they might not air for a couple of weeks, so. You know, this, I'm shooting it, and by the time you're seeing this, I may have already used these side by side, but my thinking as of this moment where I haven't used them side by side is that they are really great no matter which one you use. And so 
Don't think all of a sudden, oh man, my, you know, the, the TI came out. Now I, you know, I, I just gotta, I gotta get rid of my stainless. If you want to, that's okay. If you just want titanium and you're a big fan of titanium, I am, of course. But I'm going to be honest with you, folks. I don't know that I'm going to get rid of my uh, stainless. Um, because I think there might be room for two razors. And what I might do is I might buy the open comb in stainless. And see how that works. And see if there's, you know, if that provides you a different experience. Because I haven't tried the Vector open comb yet. So we look forward to doing that. But I'm going to tell you. That was a nice, respectable shave, and it, for the razor I'm not used to using on the dome, it did a great job, so that was really enjoyable. The soap was great, too, so uh, let me rinse off, and then we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We rinsed thoroughly to remove all the soap, and then we applied our Thayer's Magic, because it's made by witches, and of course, after the rinse, first we toweled off with our Lancaster tail. I got to tell you today, the Kitawa, I really enjoyed it. First line shave has done it yet again. Hooked me with the sample and now I will buy the set and there's enough in here to uh, give to another shaver to let them try it at some point. So folks, artisans, I gotta tell you, including these samples generate sales. It truly is the gift that keeps giving. First line has done it again because I will buy Kitwa. I really enjoyed it. The Blackland Vector Titanium, excellent even on the dome. I enjoyed it. Really nice level cue ball shave. I enjoyed it a lot. I tell you, whether you own the stainless, titanium, the Vector TI, or stainless, excellent, excellent shaver, highly nimble. It's pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it. It's an excellent razor. We use the Atomic Rocket uh, brush, and it's sitting here in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, our Captain's Choice bowl, still plenty of lather left over. And we're gonna finish things off today with First Line Shave James, which has a nice, scent. This is a peach scent, but it's more than peach. It's kind of a dark peach, I would call it. And we're going to be smelling great and having a magnificent day. So whenever this airs, I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful shave. And I hope everything is going well and you're having a terrific day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you to your shave, do your way. And as always, God bless.